If you want to have some fun in Clash Royale, then I have the perfect deck for you. 3.4 Elixir Electro Giant Fast Cycle. It is an absolute abomination, but a blast to play. Get the Earthquake in here to clear through all those buildings, the Tanaker for range support, and a bunch of bait spam to keep the cycle down and keep the pressure up. Overall, a lot of players will not expect this strategy when they see the Electro Giant, so you have the ability to catch them off guard. So here we are jumping in against the Raiders of Royale. We're gonna go Tanaker in here left lane for this Valkyrie. And I might be inclined to go skeletons in the middle as well, just to pull the Valkyrie over. All right, keeps the cannon card alive longer. And he's gonna go Mega Minion. So Valkyrie Mega Minion deck. What are we thinking right now? I'm kind of thinking maybe Lava Hound. Are y'all thinking what I'm thinking? I'm definitely thinking Lava Hound right now. Wow. Oh, never mind. It's a furnace strategy. We go E Giant right lane. Please don't peck at my friend. There's Electro Wizard. What else you got, my friend? Tornado it all in here. Anything else that's spicy? Mega Knight. What do you got, my friend? Anything crazy? No. Oh, what is a P.E.K.K.A.? Wow, that kind of sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. Dude, I did I not say he was going to go P.E.K.K.A. here? And he did. <laughs> what a mad lad. Okay, bats right now. I'm thinking P.E.K.K.A. Graveyard or P.E.K.K.A. Balloon or just something crazy. You never know. It's Clash Real. Clash Real be crazy these days. Come on, run, bats. Get in there, please. Get some damage done. One bite, please. Hi, welcome to Dallas, mate. Take care Fuck that. <sighs> So I'm going to start still running the candy card here right lane. I'm assuming it's going to be a balloon. So we got to get back to our duck oven and our bats here ASAP. I'm going to go actually bar barrel right here. Pulls that over. Do I want to go E-Giant here? Do, we, I, do I e giant this? I think I do, boys and girls. Let's go E-Giant right here. Come on, let's go. Pulls the Valkyrie over. The candy card's already dead. The E-Wizard just ditches that uh, entire right lane. Dark oven here destroys the E-Wizard as well. And then goes on the right lane counter push as well. Come on, e get it, please. Oh, he's got arrows, but the Mega Minion's already dead. And the e giant destroys. Come on, e giant Get that damage done. And we're now at the point that we only need Earthquake Cycle to finish his tower off. So what do I want to do right now? Oh, he's going to go peck it right late. Okay, sir. If that's what you want to do, then so be it. I'm actually going to go with a quick little Electro Giant here left lane. I might regret this if he goes a big, like, balloon freeze push right lane or something like that. We might as well just EQ this down right here. And get that uh, furnace dead. There we go. We can go Dark Oven in the middle here. Oh, it is a graveyard. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. All right, let's, let's go. Bats right here. Let's go. Bats destroy the P.E.K.K.A., please. Come on, Bats. Destroy it, please. Ooh. Oh, it gets no shots. Yo, that was so close to getting a shot. How? I just want to know how. I told you it'd be spicy. He is a Raider of Royale after all with the freaking P.E.K.K.A. Graveyard. Oh, that's absolutely nutty. All right, I think he's gone though. I think he's gone. He's raiding some other Royale right now. All right, let's go like this. <laughs> dude, it's always a good day when you beat P.E.K.K.A. with E-Giant. And it's even better when you beat P.E.K.K.A. Graveyard, dude. Either way, good game. Well played. Dark Goblin, my friend. Go with left lane, please. Get some damage done. Three shots, my friend. Oh, there's one. There's two. There's three. Oh, it's going to be a fast cycle. Probably Archer Queen Royal Hog strategy. But we shall see. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to be a graveyard. I or just a Valkyrie Musketeer strategy with Mortar? Are we smelling a mortar here, boys and girls? I shouldn't have used that bar above it. Maybe the basket. Oh, it's a hog rider. Let's go one of these. Yo. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. What? Gets a shot off? No way. Come on, hog rider. Get my cane activated. So, the original trifecta Valkyrie, Musketeer, and Hog Rider. This was one of the most popular strategies way back in the day, like many, many years ago. Always oh, got Fireball and the EQ. Dark Open. Oh, I didn't know a Fireball Earthquake destroyed the initial form of the cannon card. We're just going to slow We're going to eat giant here right lane. Definitely going to see a Hog Rider on the right side of the minion as well. Oh, a Musketeer. I think he probably has Tesla, or honestly, not Tesla. Come on, Hog Rider. Only get one shot, boy. Not two. Ooh, just one. That's what I wanted to see, buddy. Cannon card here. Where's your building, my friend? What do you got for a building? I'm going to go back to the middle for a building. Predicting whatever it might be. Oh, an earthquake for this cannon is going to go down so lovely, my friend. Valkyrie for my uh, cannon cart. He locks back the E-Giant. He does not. Cannon cart tanks like a beastie boy over here, boys and girls. Come on, cannon cart. Let's go. Okay, Hog Rider goes down. Let's go bats right here. Hog Rider gets... One shot, which seems a bit unreasonable. Either way, though, we're still doing no good. We got damage lead right now. I'm gonna start slow rolling one more. Oh, never mind. Let's go cannon cart right here. Okay, 
Yes, let's go, dude. Okay. Let's go E-Giant here, boys. Come on, E-Giant. Slay. Come on, let's go with your cannon. Oh, Earthquake right here is so juicy. Destroys the entire cannon cart. Then we have a... I mean, the E-Giant's dead. We did get chip damage done, which is all that matter. And one shot to that tower, which is even better. Where's your Hog Rider, my friend? I know you want to go Hog Rider here, right? We're back to another E-Giant right now. Oh, dude, it's juicy. Oh, it's juicy. You'd love to see it. He's going to go Valkyrie here, right? Just a Hog Good Rider. Job, okay, we can pull that back. Running at himself, looking in zone. He fireballs my cannon cart, but he go, I need Earthquakes at two. He's kind of overcommitting, in my opinion. Bats here for this. Barbell here for this as well. Let's go, boys. Thank you. Get to that tower, E-Giant. We got two bats surviving and a Barbarian. Yo, that's game. That is 100% game. Let's go. The sneaky barb, you couldn't even see him. The E-Giant was too thick. Either way, original trifecta gets destroyed by E-Giant Cycle. Oh no, what, sir? Calm down there, Skeleton Barrel opening play. Angel, my friend. Chill, buddy. Barbell here destroys the entire Skeleton Barrel. Oh, can we get the King activated, please? Yoik! Get to my king! I took the tower! <laughs> Let's go. What do you think he's gonna do here? Skeleton army guaranteed. Oh. That's Dosh Garby, Shane. That's a Valkyrie. <gasps> oh, it is. I need to get my glasses on. I can't see. <laughs> so I'm gonna go batch right here. I'm gonna save the E-Gen as a surprise card until the double chip period. Because until then, I don't want to reveal the secret sauce just quite yet. Can I start slow rolling a candy card here? He might have mortar. Shane, he doesn't have mortar, Shane. He's got Goblin Barrel and Skeleton Barrel. It's a double barrel bait deck, you nub. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize that. Yes, you did, you nub. Okay, I apologize again. Candy cart. Oh, delivery there. Honestly, I feel like we have a great chance of breaking through once we hit the double elixir period. He's definitely going to go Valkyrie here for this. So I want to get some bats locked and loaded to go. Just destroy that Valkyrie once we possibly can. Oh, okay. I like it. Use the Valkyrie a bit further back to save the uh, cannon cart some health. What do you got here, buddy? Anything? Oh, I thought he was going to tank for that with the Skeleton Barrel. We're going to go E-Giant here left lane. We have Nato and Bar Barrel locked and loaded to go for some Skeleton Barrel action or whatever he goes. And if he has the Infernal Tower, I shouldn't go Dark Oven here. I'm going to save the Bar Barrel. I know that kind of sounds, sounds spicy, right? But maybe it works, boys and girls. Wait for it. Wait for it. Bar Barrel here to protect the uh, Infernal. Bats as well. Let's go, dude. Okay. Come on, Bats. Get in there, please. Yes, sir. Come on, Bats. Get in there. Yes, get it destroyed. All right. The Infernal Tower is dead. Cannon Cart goes in there. Cannon Cart locks onto something. Locks onto that tower, please. Cannon Cart. Nail this back. Let's go. Ooh. Cannon Cart lock on, please. I rely on you for all your damage right now, my friend. Angel, angel, angel. Dude, that damage is beautiful. And I actually love it. We're going to go one more E-Giant here. I know it's kind of spicy. I know it's kind of crazy, right? But maybe, just maybe, it works. Oh no, that sucks. You could this down, let's go. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Ooh, you do get the earthquake, but honestly, at what cost? Let's go one of these here. Locks on. Barbell this down here. He's gonna go Goblin Barrel after that. But we should be able to defend it pretty easily with a Dark Goblin and some Skeletons. Either way, we've got damage lead. I'm pretty good with that so far. Let's go one of these, one of those. Yes, sir. All right. Locks up with Dark Goblin. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of figures. If we start slow rolling an E-Giant here, we can actually break through the Inferno Tower pretty easily with a double Inferno action. Ooh, let's go bats here, boys and girls. Ignore the majority of that Skeleton Barrel for now. I'm going to go Bar Barrel here. I don't know why it's so aggressive. That's ultimate value sauce. I will allow it. Cannon card here, please. Skeleton's up in this business. Come on, boys. Where's your Inferno, my friend? All right. Dar the Infernal B. And we're already back to one more E-Giant right here. Let's go. No, don't hit that, my friend. What? Don't hit my cannon cart, you nub. That's not fair. Wait for this. Another back. Let's go. Come on, sir. Get in there. Yeah, there's no... He's got no chance here, dude. Come on. Lock on. Lock spell right here, right? But the EQ goes down. There's one bat alive. He's got no responses left. E-Giant's on his tower. That, my friends, is the power of a fast cycle E-Giant deck to break through even the most powerful defense in the game, the Inferno Tower, with multiple E-Giants banned at the bridge. Hello, my dear friend, Royal Ghost. What's up? Hey, can I go Barbarian Barrel right here? Who wins? The Ghosty Boar or the Bar Barrel? Ah. Dominating! It's a mutual destruction. Okay. I don't have my skeletons for that. I'm going to go Bats High. Maybe it's a bad idea, I don't know. E-Spirit goes down. Cannon Cart slays. Ah, it doesn't feel good. 
So I'm going to go Electro Giant right lane to defend this Archer Queen. I can almost guarantee it's going to be a Mega Knight deck. I'm definitely thinking Mega Knight. Bandit goes down. Can we go Dark Elbow right here? That should chew through the majority of that dark, the Bandit there. And then the world goes. Come on, E-Giant, get that power, please. E-Giant, dude. Nobody can stop you, buddy. It is busted. Hold up. I don't know why I just switched my skeletons there. That's a terrible idea, Shane. A terrible idea, my friend. All we can do is remember them. Candy card here. We're, we're so low on this right now. Those skeletons are terrible. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. That's bad. No, oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot of tower damage. Do not like that at all. And he can go bandit right here and destroy us. Yo, we overcommitted with those skeletons. So we got Dark Goblin over here. Pull the bandit to the middle of some skeletons right now. Should destroy it nicely. Even though the E Spirit gets in there, honestly. It does not get in there. Never mind. Ignore me. When you go candy card here for this world goes, I'm gonna be playing pure defense mode right now. I don't know what I just said, but we're playing defense. No more offense right now. Oh, that is that. I'm gonna go E Giant here left lane. Cause that way it'll destroy the Archer Queen once it gets within range. No, he don't. Never mind. Okay. Yo, the princess gets wrecked, eh? Oh, there's the Mega Knight, my friends. There's the Mega Knight. I knew he had something in there, and indeed he did. He just gets in there and slays. Come on, E-Giant, just slay it down, please. Yes, dude, I, the one thing I love most about this deck is literally using the E-Giant to destroy Archer Queens. It feels so good, and I don't know why. Skeleton's here for this, please. Pulls that bandit back. Let's go. One EQ right here to just uh, get the cycle going on. And we should be good to go, boys and girls. There's no way he beats us in like 20 seconds, right? We go E-Giant here for destruction. He might go Archer Queen right lane. That's his only chance right now. He does not. Okay, let's go E-Giant here. All we need is a an Earthquake to win, right? Come on, boys. Earthquake go down. Let's go, boys. Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> oh, dude. A Mega Knight, a Prince, a Royal Ghost, a Bandit, and an Arch Queen on my tower, but saved by the bell. So once again, jump again against a Bandit strategy. Oh my goodness, I think almost one third of my all battles on ladder right now are against Bandit deck. Huh? It is that. Oh, I go EQ right here. Even though it's not the most value, it forces the Goblin Brawler to run into my cannon cart. And I'm actually thinking about going E Giant here. It's super early in the battle right now. But his arrows is out of rotation and his cannon card is as well. And by cannon card, I mean goblin cage. So maybe we can punish that down. If we just beat hyper aggro, maybe this works. Mega Knight does go down here, but I would prefer the Mega Knight hitting the E Giant, actually. Uh, I mean, either way, if we can defend this incoming counter push, uh, we might be good. He's going to go Bandit and something crazy, right? Ram Rider, maybe? What do you got there, bud? Cannon card destroy, please. We're gonna jump both towers, activate. Oh, a balloon sausage. Does that pull it to the cannon card? Oh, it does. That means we can defend it right now. Come on. Yes. Yo, the balloon gets destroyed by the cannon card. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, that's beautiful. So I'm gonna start slow rolling a giant here left lane. I'm definitely gonna see a bandit right lane probably, right? Bandit and maybe something else as well. Or just nothing, sir. Oh, the Infernal Dragon. I can needle that into my uh, stuff. So maybe we'll try that out. There's a bandit there. Let's go. I want to go cannon card here. The E-Giant will pull that over, right? Just like this. Let's go. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Yes, E-Giant's alive and healthy, my friend. Get in there, E-Giant. Destroy Mr. Tower. Yes, haha, <laughs> it's dead. Oh, he's going to be so mad here soon. This deck is actually busted, bros and girls. It is actually broken. And by broken, I mean like it wins sometimes. This Goblin's right here, please. Bats over here. Humiliation. He's got no, oh, what? How does that Goblin Cage pull it? He was already at the tower. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh my goodness, the E-Giant just slays. I still can't believe that Cannon Cart pulled that balloon. That was the highlight of my day. Come on, come back here, Bandit. Come back here, girl. <laughs> Dude, I just know it's a good day when you beat Mega Knight Balloon. I mean, I say that all the time, right? About every strategy. It's just a good day, you know? Every day is a good day. But, my friend, good game. Well played. Hello, Mr. Dustin over here. Are we, are we in training battle? We might be in training mode, my friend. We're facing trainer Dustin. 
Oh, I kind of want to go E-Giant here. Is this crazy? It is. Mm. I'm going to go E-Giant this lane, though. I know it's stupid, but I'm going to do it anyways. Just because that's the way it worked, dude. Why does he go? Why does he say GG's? I'm not too sure why he's saying good game, my friends. Come on, E-Giant, get the tower, please. Dirt Boys gets it as well. Yo, the Dark Coven plus the E-Giant just destroys. <laughs> he's so happy. I'm happy he's happy. Trader Dustin. Yo, did he just nail my King Tower? <laughs> That's what this deck does. It is that powerful. Honestly, as soon as he used the Goblin Cage there, I just knew we had a good opening to go on offense. And I'm happy we did. Because this is going to be a three-crown victory in literally uh, basically one push, right? Getting a cord and some bats. Now, the question is, is does he actually give up or does he give up? Mm, I think he actually gives up, my friend. Earthquake goes down. Bats get in there, destroy. Kanekar destroys. And we have ourselves a three-crown. Almost instantaneous. That's okay, buddy. That's okay. Dude, I don't know what it is with these fastical barrel spams today, but I'm facing all of them. Everyone and everyone, my friends. Come on. Oh. Almost no tower damage, but one sneaky skeleton gets in there. Dark Omen goes in and gets the tower with three shots. Oh, yes. Monitor here, right? Let's go bats on my own. Come on, boys. Let's go. Don't die, please, tower. Don't die, my tower. Yes, sir. So... Maybe Mortar, maybe not Mortar. Either way, we're gonna go EQ. Oh, I missed the tower! Congratulations, you played yourself. How does that happen, Shane? I don't know, you tell me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. We gotta ignore that tower right lane, boys. Should we do one of these? That prevents a little bit of tower damage done, right? If he goes Infernal Dragon, we just nail it in. This is our only hope right now. Please go Infernal Dragon. Yes, sir. Now, she's gonna get targeted regardless, right? Yes, it does. You can go Dark Armor right here, right? Thank you. Thank you, sir. No saying, let's go. E-Giant should the tower by itself, right? Yo, the E-Giant is busted. Like, literally busted. I don't think I've seen a card that's been more broken in Clash Royale. I mean, besides Archer Queen. And besides Nightwatch when it was first released and Execution when it was first released. But E-Giant's right up there. Go Barbell for this. One of these here. And then we can go some Smelitons and a Dark Elvo here for this. This should be a nice little destruction. Oh, yeah, on my tower. I'm dying. If you're wondering what the destruction is, it's my tower. What? What? How in the world is a spear goblin behind that tower closer? I'll just say it one more time. What? Mega Knight here for the cannon cart, right? Let's go bats right here. Come on, Ejank, get there, please, buddy. Go one of these. Thank you, sir. Dark Elbow should slay it down nicely. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Yes, Dark Elbow. Destroy. Let's go, boys. <laughs> All right. We can go Barbell here, right? Can't cut for this. This is going to be ultimate destruction. We, we hard counter this guy so bad. Picaro. I, I, I want to apologize to you right now. Because we have a 100 to 0. Quite literally... A 100 to 0 matchup. So done here. Not even exaggerating, dude. It is that bad. It's one of these. Oh, one of these here. Let's go. Yeah, it is 100 to 0. This deck just has no way of dealing with E-Giants. Dude, nasty. Three crown victory. Now, he was level 13, but I can guarantee that did not impact the outcome of the battle. We simply just had a 100 to 0 matchup. We hard countered him so bad. Anyways, guys and girls, that is the video. Here's the deck one more time if you want to give it a try yourself. Also, be sure to follow my Facebook page to the link in the description down below where I post bonus variety content five days a week. Lots of cool stuff happening over there. But that is the video. We shall see you all in the next one.